This is your daily market review for Thursday, September 12th, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max of DXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent, and this is your daily market review. Thursday, September 12th, 2024. Hope you have an amazing week. Crushing it in the markets, as you all know who've been paying attention in the Discord room. I imagine some of y'all in the Discord room are doing even better. Either way, congratulations. Happy that people are making money. As we talked about going into the FOMC meeting, going into the VIX structure next week as well on the 18th, probably going to bring the market up, hold things up into potentially a one or two rate cut situation. We know cutting rates is typically bearish longer term, especially right off the start. <clears throat> so at this point, what do we know, right? We know market's probably going to chop around. I don't see a ton of downside risk. I could see some downside going into the meeting if we're up already a little bit. But again, I think certain names are going to rise better than others. Market in itself is just going to kind of I don't know, hold around. So if you're not really sure what to do, again, manage your trades. Take profits. Again, we talked about TLT, probably not going to break out. We talked about certain names acting certain ways. I mean, Micron got a big downgrade today which was interesting, their action on it was just bid, it, bid up all day off the lows. Saw some action, some of the other tech names. Again, I like tech for the up plays near term, but again, they're kind of losing upside potential. Some were having more room than others, but in general, just I think that's the easy trade, right? They got beaten the most, so they're rallying back the most. Will they provide some bull traps at the highs? Probably, probably. So, oh, look. It's not rocket science, right? Manage your trades. Do one thing, do it well, set your stops. And just, again, I would just preface people. If you can sell options against stock, that is that is the easiest sometimes trade. Again, buying options, a little harder. Buying stock, some okay risk. Selling options against some amazing, did some amazing trades. We'll talk about it. Again, if you're new to the channel, check out the Discord room, link description below. Let me know how I can help. If you're looking to buy, invest, sell real estate. I mean, again, this is the game. Let me help you out. Do not go with Uncle Bob or some someone you barely know. Let me find you the best agent in your area. You get two agents for the price of one and we will get the job done. Go check all my five-star reviews. I don't play around. Here to help. Actually got an, another listing going. It's really interesting. Decent little investment long-term. Near-term might not be the cash flow king, but long-term seems like a pretty solid play. Anyway, we'll talk about it another time. If you want to follow, posting the trades, ideas, thoughts on Twitter, also posting videos, hit the notification bell, hit ring that bell so that when this comes live, you can check it out. Again, I've noticed the viewership was down a little bit. All right, Google algorithm, time to share it. Let's see what you got. I appreciate it. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Do me a favor. Again, if you appreciate these videos, put it out there. Show it to someone else. I would appreciate it. Again, you don't have to, just an ask. Again, the least I could ask, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Again, this is the goal of the, ch proper, the channel, turn profits into properties and passive income. That is the goal, folks. Properties, passive income, cover calls, all that fun stuff. Again, recommended reading, all sorts of little tools. If you want to get your interactive brokers, your markets account. Yeah. All right. So what do we know, right? We know the Fed watch. I mean, let's just hit the refresh button. It's somewhere in this 20 to 30 range. We know the Fed's. One cut, two cuts, that will be the million dollar question. Again, with the CPI, PPI, rear loaded, no one really cared, as I talked about, didn't think it was gonna be bearish at all, in my opinion. Rallied the sucker up, holding up. Bitcoin, as we talked about, this could be a base for the big move up. Again, watch what happens when the Fed's pivot. That'll be the key, right? That will be the key. Again, these might be very good reference points. Again, I, I personally believe, just be careful. Be careful. Again, I mean, you can start looking at commodities. This is the hard part, though, in my opinion, on all this stuff is like you want to see some real carnage before you buy this stuff. That's all I would say. Same thing we talked about with oil getting carnage. Speaking of, right, with some folks have played oil, said, hey, watch the spots. You're welcome. Congrats. I mean, it makes sense. Natural gas getting over the range lows near term. Again, I like natural gas long term. We've said that. We've talked about it. I, I'm not going to over overstay my you know just say the same things again i like it long term i would like to see it with a one handle again 
looking for the ultimate carnage because I think that's where you get the best value. If you chase up, we could go higher. It's just I don't I don't trust it so much in near term, if that makes sense. UUP, we talked about chopping up potential range, maybe 200 day. Either way, probably holding the 20 day, probably not going anywhere until the Fed meeting. Keep it simple, stupid. TLT, looks like it's breaking out. Mm. Again, I don't really trust it until the Fed meeting. I think it could just kind of go chill out. VIX talked about this hitting the 23s. Probably not surprised it gets back into the 15 to 17 range. You're welcome. Talked about that. Vivix seems to be holding up. I'd be watching this like, I don't know, 92 to 100 area. Again, you want to see a higher low if you want to see the VIX start complex start getting bought again. And again, the VIX futures expire on next Wednesday, which is ironic. Spy, look at yesterday's candle. Oof. Is it possible we go back to the highs? Man, anything's possible at this point. Again, I would just be, I would temper expectations. The higher, the move, bigger we move into the Fed meeting. I mean, the, the ultimate thing would be a bull trap. And a bull trap would take us, what, up in somewhere in this 570 to 565 range. That's what I'd be like. That'd be the best gift. Because again, the Q's led the whole time up and now they're lagging. This just, again, this tells me Q's have more lag, lag potential than anything in time. But I wouldn't be surprised if we trapped up into this 470s. Talked about this. I mean, you already got some of it. Maybe the swing zone, bap zone, trend line. All sorts of fun games. 480 maybe. I don't know. Near term. It's it's hard to know intraday. Like, right? You can see big candles. Like you can see these long ass wicks at extremes. And those are the traps that we're looking for. IWM, again, snort, short term oversold. Hmm. I don't know. 215 would make sense. Dia. Had been leading up, chopping around. Seems okay. Gold got definitely some pop today. <laughs> Broke out. Again, if you want to trade it, go right ahead. Again, this is one of those things. Your guess is good as mine on this one. Again, I own physical. I like silver long-term physical. It's just hard to chase this. I don't like... Tra Again, the first move into something is usually the trap. We'll see. I mean, either way, if you're trading it, congrats. I have no positions, not going to, I mean, I've recommended just laying off of it. Silver looks like it's in a wedge. Nice move up today. GDX got some pop today. Okay. Back up near the highs. We'll see. Let's see if we get some follow through, right? GDXJ would have been lagging. Keep an eye on it. Got to get over that 48, 49 area. AEM, this has been a boss held and I don't know, right? I mean, support at 77. Seems to be bouncing. Talk about AG at the range lows. Probably due to bounce. Well, there you go. Bing. How high? Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, again, I, I'm not bearish on these names, but I am waiting for, waiting to exhale, waiting for some like carnage. That's the easiest way to describe it. Again, if we don't get carnage, these can hold up. Gold starts leading. Again, I'm not going to be pissed about physical. Again, there's other trades out there. You're never going to hit them all. Pass. Here you go. Again, this is what I would say. I'm not shorting these names, but I'm looking for weakness, if that makes sense. Okay. I mean, some might argue you've already seen it. Get it? I got it. Not going to argue with you. Makes sense. Taiwan Semi. Talked about it. Holding up. Maybe up into this 175 range. Seems to be doing it. Micron got a downgrade, which again, I, whatever. Look at today's wick. Bought back. Keep an eye on this. Again, I traded around some of my position yesterday. Got lucky. Bought, sold some of this week's calls on the pop. And this morning was like, no shiitake mushrooms. Okay, well, it looks like we'll buy in some next week calls. And I'm not going to hold them through the Fed meeting, but I wouldn't be surprised if this stuff just all holds up. And some names better than others. And some, again, have done better. AMD looks been great. We talked about NVIDIA. If you play this, we bought calls on this. Yeah, looking good. Again, I'm not surprised now. we I mean, 117 was my target when we were at 101. Again, I don't bring a ruler to trading, but I don't know why we come into the trend line. Maybe the 120s just to play the game, right? There's no, again, if the momentum holds up, the momentum holds up, and some of these names are going to rally. Like SMCI, we talk. Mm, such a gift. Some of the folks buying this in the 380s, looking even at the 400 range on the back test. Congrats. Again, could we fill the gap? 500, 20 day? I mean, 20 days been resistance. Intel, all over the place. We talked about it, holding the range lows. Again, I, mm, this one's tough. Again, because I think they're going to get delisted. Sorry, sorry, folks. People get real mad when I say that. SMH, we talked about holding the 200 day. Are you... Are you kidding me? Like, would it be surprising to anyone if we got up 
into this area? No freaking way. No one would care. It would just be a blip in the radar. Adobe, um, I think they had earnings after hours. Yep, 527, not so hot. Watch the 100 day again. I, uh, <laughs> if you went into earnings doing anything, I mean, congrats. I, I just don't, I don't train earnings. Now off the lows, it's, I mean, I'd like to short, but I'm not going to short it on earnings lows. Apple, as we talked about holding this 216, would it make sense to get up to the 228, maybe fill the gap 225? Yes, sir. Amazon, we talked about this holding up, filling the gap. Now, again, this is where tech, 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 tech. I mean, I don't know, 190 makes sense to me now. Again, don't bring a ruler to trading. Keep an eye on it. Raise your stops to find your risk. Know that at any point, these could be traps. Meta, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't get back to the 530 plus range. CRM seems to be holding up pretty darn well. After coming down, chopping around, I mean, you got defined zones. I mean, again, watch for the traps. Guggenheim talked about this. Jay Solstice again said the call's coming. Look at this gap up. Probably going to go up a little higher at worst. Makes sense. I mean, oversold, right? Microsoft, Mr. Softy. Back to range highs. And I mean, range highs, like, look at this stuff. I mean, don't be surprised to get up in there. Keep an eye on it. I mean, NDAQ, I mean, think about it. We could do some big, wild traps. Again, I think this is the toast of the town and time down, but keep an eye on it. Again, it's not surprising. I don't know. My September cheap puts probably aren't going to make any money. That's all right. Made 40 cents elsewhere in other places. Uh, MicroStrategy, we talked about holding the 200 day. Man, if Bitcoin pops, 140s. I mean, it would not surprise me very, at all. So if you like that idea as a trade, I mean, rip into that. That makes sense to me. Netflix and chill, chopping around. Roblox, we talked about. Looks like it's breaking out if you bought the calls on the dips. Congrats. I mean, if it gets over this 46, 47, bow, it's going to pop. And again, it doesn't necessarily mean it has to go moonshotting. But again, it could cause and trigger a huge squeeze. Just keep that in mind. Pan W, again, named we like long term so cybersecurity. It just it seems to be consolidating, watching the 50 day. Tesla, a lot of people expecting this like to go to 245. I agree. It just doesn't have to get there quickly. That's the thing, right? It seems to be having pressure to be bought on all dips. This drops, doji. Gaps up, close at the highs. Seems to be building. That's what I would call it. Keep an eye on it. Insight, again, like this company, I think they get bought out in time. Public information says they have value. Keep an eye on this one. Pfizer got over, well, actually more like held support, got over the trend line, just kind of holding around. I mean, if you like it, like it. McDonald's talked about this 290 range is going to be probably some consolidation. So far, so good. DKNG talked about it rallying back to trend, 200 day maybe. I mean, all these names. Again, doesn't mean... This is what's so hard about this is you never know if it's going to be a wick. You're going to close at the high, gap up and fail. I mean, that's the thing. Just watch the action. Again, if you don't know these formations, back to basic education series. Hello, Airbnb, dead cat bouncing now. Now, Costco. Again, look at, man, 15 bucks up today. Mm. Back to the ranch highs, holding the 20 day. <laughs> okay, looks bullish. Starbucks up towards a hundo. All right, new highs. Again, in my opinion, I'm not I'm not that excited about it, but again, it's is what it is. <laughs> I mean, again, Starbucks after that big ass move, chopping around makes sense. If it gets to 100, I wouldn't be surprised by that. FedEx, we talked about being oversold. Congrats if you played this up. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. You see the 50 day caterpillar, 200 day down here. Was it 200 or 100 day? 200 day. Look at that. Doink. Could it go back up to the range highs? I mean, it's always possible. Again, big choppy ranges are your friends for trading. DE, this thing, could, we talked about this buying off the bottom. Man, you absolutely crushed it. Now it's consolidating. Okay, just see what happens here. I mean, consolidation's normal. Nucor, some of the, again, commodity names got bought. Put this down here yesterday. I kind of like it. Again, people who watch the videos, shout out Nucor if you're watching. If you watch it this far, drop an N-U-E in the comments. I appreciate it. Talk about X getting smacked. I mean, again, long term, I like it. I like to see it in the 20s. Valet, as we talked about, is an interesting name. Again, commodity name. Watching this 9, 10 level arrow. Again, we like little baby copper names. Holding the 200 day. Credit where credit's due. Again, I'm not personally in any of these commodity names, just playing with the tech stuff, but they could be bottoming. They could be choppy. CCJ, again, if you played that one, looking good. CF, I mean, ag names. We talked about these things all over the place. Not going to spend a ton of time on a mosaic. Again, I think they, it's, it's, it's pretty fast oversold. So I wouldn't be surprised by some bounce back. 
Same thing with NTR, Agri, and whatever this is now. I mean, you might have a double bottom here. Let me just slide this over here. Again, names just worth watching. If you're watching these videos this far, again, appreciate it. Leave a comment, a little heart. Share with a friend. Again, the viewership is down. I don't mind. I'm not doing this for viewership. I'm just concerned if something's going on. Did I miss something? Is there something I'm not doing for you guys? That's what I'm saying. Leave a comment. Uh, hey, hey, to me, this looks real interesting here. And again, long term, man, I'd love to see it in the 24s. And short term, again, a lot of these names. Bouncing XLF. Again, we talked about this. Bounce. Bounce and now chop. That's okay. Chop. I mean, this to me is the easiest short in some point, man. If you get that 45 level. JP Morgan got crushed the other day, chopping around now, 100 day holding. Let these back test. Let them just play out like drop, chop. Drop and chop is fine. Morgan Stanley looks like head and shoulders top. Talk about Bank of America. Buffett can't sell fast enough. Yeah, exactly. He sells on the pops. Still selling. Goldman Snacks. We talked about this one, man. Look at that big red candle. But holding the 100 day. This is the thing about these moves, and this is why it can be so difficult for traders who are just over trading is and not and when I say over trading, but also not managing positions. Like you're short, but then you see the rallies and you just don't do anything. And you you just sit here and you go, okay. Well, if you stay one hundred percent committed to your short, which again I think you will be fine, but if you have options and they're getting burned, you should be selling options. You should sell some near term puts when the VIX spikes at certain levels. Right, and I mean certain levels. Like you got to know the stock. We got to know the circumstances. After the FOMC meeting, there's nothing stopping the market at this point heading lower, in my opinion. So that's where it could get really ugly. Carry double top and top XBI. That's where we got to get through some of these events. Right, election could get ugly. XBI. Check this out. Just seems to be you know the risk off risk on name. Just kind of chopping around. Housing again. I don't trust housing at all. I mean I'm in housing. People are saying it's picking up. Ugh, we'll see. I mean, I know there's cash on the sidelines, but we'll see if they really want to jump into houses because I don't think rents are going to be going up so much unless the inflation goes nuts. Solar, huge bounce yesterday because of, um, I would think, I think it's the Harris bounce. Sedge, man, nothing. I mean, bounce gives it back. ENPH, this is pretty, pretty weak. First solar, I will say, is holding up better than others. Hey, they've got AI in solar. Watch the 240s. HYG again. I think you got to be crazy buying corporate debt. Oil. This trade makes sense to me. We talked about it. Oversold. Do it a bounce. UNG again. I'm not a big UNG fan. Again, I'd rather short KOLD. Looks all right. I mean, again, if you shorted KOLD at the 80 area, you're feeling good. Feeling. I mean, again, it's 10 points real quick. XOP. I mean, I might start. I might play some calls on this thing. This looks real interesting down here, especially for a bounce going into the FOMC meeting. I mean, put this, putting, putting this one on red alert, XOP. What is the other one? That, oh, I think MS, MSTR looks really interesting to me. Apple, Google, again, yeah, Micron. Trying to think of any of these material names. Uh, AA. Right, gold and silver looking all right. I mean, kind of just reviewing all. XOP, again, these names look very interesting to me. CDE has been um, chopping around here at the 16 level. Makes sense to me, right? Valero, gasoline names seem to be putting in a potential bottom. MPC has been holding up better than Valero. Just, again, worth a watch. Worth a watch. Exxon Mobil, right? We talked about this one not being able to break out, but gets back to... Look at that fucking candle, y'all. Yikes. That's scary. And then it cracks back above it. Man, that is hard. Occidental, I mean, man, even... I have to put oxy on here because this thing broke below range lows and I'm, again i'm not i don't know if this will go this is like the ultimate bottom bottom but man you were due to bounce and what if it means say 54 59 i mean if you bought cheap calls on some of these names that have low volatility low ivs i mean you could buy calls for 50 cents 75 and make 500 percent. just keep an eye on it eqt same kind of thing like chopping around range lows worth a watch and last but not least Flex LNG. I like the names. Again, we're talking about exporting natural gas long term. Big consolidation patterns. All right, if you have any questions, please reach out. If you watch this far, hit the like button. Please subscribe, share with your friends. If you want to donate, links in the description below. If you want to join the Discord room, links in the description below. If you want to chat on Conley, link in the description below. It's all there. Always here to help. Let me know what you need. Holler at your boy. Peace in the Middle East. Talk to y'all soon.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.